Hello, Assalamu Alaikum and welcome to the weekly podcast of ActionRadius.com. This week we will be looking at how to set up a 3D stereoscopic setup. Now, 3D may be common in cinemas these days, but it is still in infamy in when it comes to video games. So we will be showing you how to set up all the minimum requirements for the hardware side on how to set up your 3D rig and then uh, also the software that are currently in the market to do that uh, stereoscopic conversion of the picture uh, to give you that 3D immersion. We will be comparing both NVIDIA's 3D vision technology as well as AMD's HD 3D technology. And we will be giving you the lowdown on which one came out the better in this comparison. First of all, let's look at the minimum hardware requirement to set up your 3D stereoscopic rig. First thing that you will need is a 3D TV or a 3D monitor. The advantage of a 3D monitor is that you can get, even though it will be having a smaller screen, but you can get around uh, 60 FPS on full HD 1080p resolution. Whereas on a 3D TV, you will be limited to 60 FPS on only 720p, that is 1280 by 720 resolution. So the resolution is lower on the 3D TV, but there is an advantage of using the 3D TV that uh, it is compatible with both the NVIDIA and AMD HD 3D solutions. Whereas when it comes to the monitor, actually with the 3D monitor, you will have to either, uh, based on your 3D card, actually you will have to buy that specific monitor because AMD HD 3D works with the display port. So you will be getting a monitor that sports a 3D monitor that sports a display port. Whereas if you are going to use it with NVIDIA card, then you would be looking for a monitor with a DVI-D port. So that is the main difference between the two monitors. Normally with uh, 3D monitors that are specially designed for NVIDIA, you will find that compatibility NVIDIA 3D Vision Ready logo on their box or in their specifications. But the main difference remains that NVIDIA is based on DVI-D port and AMD monitors are based on display port. Now, uh, right now, uh, we were unable to find any monitor that supports both the technologies. So, based on your 3D card, you will be forced to limit your 3D monitor choices. What we will be using during this test session is a 3D TV because uh, we want to test the AMD solution and NVIDIA solution on common grounds. So, the 3D TV uh, connects via the HDMI port. HDMI 1.4a standard limits the data rate that is why uh, you will be forced to using 720p resolutions for your 3D conversion. Now the TV that we will be using for this test session is the LG 42 LM3400. Uh, if you want this review is not about that display screen so if you want the review of the 3D TV I have provided the link below and you can check it out later on. For now uh, Based on uh, either you can go with a monitor, I have given you advantages and disadvantages of using a monitor or you could go with a 3D TV. Next thing that you will need in your hardware setup is a 3D card. So you can use both NVIDIA or AMD 3D card to set up your stereoscopic gaming setup. One thing of importance is that you will want to uh, invest in a mid-range or enthusiast level 3D card. The reason that we don't recommend using a budget or low-end card uh, for this stereoscopic setup is that 3D card will have the job to render two images when doing the 3D. One for your left eye and one for the right eye and then it superimposes those images to give you that 3D depth. Now a 3D card will be subjected to double the pressure or double the load as compared to normal gaming. That is why we recommend that if you uh, are going to set up your rig for 3D stereoscopic gaming, 
then invest in a good card. AMD and Nvidia all cards right now support the 3D stereoscopic gaming. Uh, so if you have any card from past three years, no problem, you can run your 3D gaming setup on it. Now once your 3D monitor or 3D TV is ready and you have a 3D card powerful enough to uh, do the stereoscopic conversion, then the next step that you need to take is purchase or invest in a software driver to do the 3D stereoscopic conversion. With the AMD, you have to go with a third party software called TriDev. This TriDev software costs $50, but AMD owners can get a discount and get it for $25 only. Whereas if you are uh, an NVIDIA user, then you will have to get the NVIDIA 3D glasses kit. This is the that NVIDIA 3D vision kit, which comes with one pair of active glasses uh, with it. Uh, but the main thing that we will be testing right now in this uh, kit is not the glasses, but the software that comes with the 3D glasses kit, because we want uh, right now the testing on common grounds which means we will be using the same pair of classes for testing with AMD or with Nvidia and we just want to test out how good the software conversion is for 2D to 3D image. Nvidia software is actually built in its, uh, in its GeForce drivers. So if you already have those GeForce drivers installed in your PC, then you already have uh, the prerequisite software needed to run 3D stereoscopic gaming available. Now, why you need to purchase this kit then if the software is already there? Well, the license for uh, 3D stereoscopic uh, conversion is what you are going to buy. Even though the software is already there, but you are not licensed to use 3D stereoscopic conversion. And that is where this $130 kit comes in. Yes, it costs $130 which is five times more than the TriDev solution but you will be getting one extra pair of uh, active shutter glasses so uh, I, we will later on see which one is the better solution considering the cost also now uh, what you will be actually paying for is the license of that 2D to 3D conversion software which is already there that is activated by this transmitter so if you are not going to use the nvidia glasses for example if you have passive 3d tv then these glasses will be of no use to you so you will be using the standard glasses that come with your tv but still uh, you will need to activate your 3d studio software for which you just have to plug this glasses transmitter uh, with a usb plug once this is connected then it will activate it will act as a license key for your 3d stereoscopic uh, features in nvidia software when it comes to setting up the software itself nvidia provides a very streamlined and easy to use software all you have to do is go into your nvidia control panel turn on the 3d stereoscopic settings and you're done and even those more than 700 games are supported but that does not mean the experience is the same with every game uh, right now as i said in the start the 3d uh, feature in video games is still in its infamy and uh, all the games are not 100 percent compatible for 3d stereoscopic gaming so even though you may get a really good experience with one game in 3D but in other game you may find really horrible or flat results. There may be problems like tearing artifacts or uh, mismatch depth or static shadows and things like that which don't really look good. These anomalies are what we will be comparing between the two drivers that how TriDev uh, is supportive of those games and how NVIDIA is supportive of those games. On TriDev side, the setup is more cumbersome. You are forced to launch your games from a games launcher. 
so if you run the game from outside, for example, from Steam, then you will not get the Tridef uh, 3D automatic conversion. You have to launch it from its launcher. And the problem with that is that it does not detect your 100% of the games. Steam games, it does not detect at all. So you have to first create or, uh, a shortcut within Tridef for your game and then select the respective game from its supported game list uh, to make the link proper and then only it will start to work properly which is a very lengthy method if you have a big games collection so try dev setup was uh, not that smooth but good thing is that the software is cheap and not only it works with amd cards but you can even try it with your nvidia card so even if you don't want to invest in the NVIDIA 3D Vision Kit and you still have an NVIDIA card with a 3D TV then you can use the TriDev trial version even to try out the 3D stereoscopic gaming to just get an idea if it is for you or not because many gamers may get some headache or may feel uncomfortable while doing it even though in my testing with the default setting of 3D depth, it works perfectly. You can play those games for long times, no problem. Only if you increase the 3D depth too much, then you may experience headaches. Going to the actual performance, although we will not be able to show you the 3D depth uh, in this 2D video, uh, because you need to have a 3D display to experience the 3D, but we can tell you our experience of it. When it came to NVIDIA software, we found it very easy, as I mentioned before, to set up games with it. Actually, you didn't have to set up anything. Everything uh, comes pre-set up, even though if uh, the game is new, for example, we tried out Lost Planet 3, which is right now not included in the compatible game list, but still the game worked flawlessly with 3D depth being portrayed very correctly. There were a few, uh, few blur images uh, near the edges of our main character, but still uh, it worked fine. Um, then coming to other games, one of the things that we loved about NVIDIA was that it gave an on-screen display of uh, the quality that you should expect from the game. So if it is, it is an already tested game, then NVIDIA would put a message in their driver for that respective game that what can you expect in 3D stereoscopic gaming for this game and they may even suggest you a few things like turn off the shadows turn the resolution down or messages like that to help you get the better quality in the 3D games which is something that you really need uh, because of the varying nature of the 3D quality in different games whereas when it comes to Tridef you have to do a lot of hit and trial method by yourself to figure out the correct settings. We found uh, 3D Vision to be much better in visual quality also. For example, here is a comparison of Borderlands being run on 3D Vision and um, Borderlands being run on uh, TriDev software. And you will be able to see that actually the TriDev version has a slightly blurred near the head, near the hair of our hero's model uh, and even if you see in the backdrop, the mountains and things like that have slight blur and uh, mismatch of 3D image when seen through glasses. We tried games like Crisis, uh, Tomb Raider, Hitman and uh, Need for Speed. Main difference between the two drivers does remain that uh, some games may work better with AMD HD 3D. We will uh, agree to that. For example, Crisis 3 works flawlessly and much better uh, with AMD hardware. Uh, there was much better sense of depth. The hard properly, the gun properly floated in front, whereas the rest of the background was in the back, and the same game looked pretty flat on NVIDIA settings whereas uh, many other games work better with NVIDIA uh, so there is that difference but overall the NVIDIA support of games was much better and much simpler than the TriDev solution which AMD proposes moreover 
the tried of software actually many times crushes your games uh, it happened to me a lot I don't know if it was this particular version that we were trying out or it is a common problem but it does exist overall I can easily claim that Nvidia 3D solution is the much better option if you want a headache less uh, set up for 3D stereoscopic gaming. Later on, we will bring a review when we will show you how good these glasses are as compared to other active shutter glasses. Uh, but for now, our main comparison was on the software side that on common grounds, which was the better solution. And currently, we have no problem claiming NVIDIA 3D Vision Kit, the king or the better solution in PC when you want to do 3D stereoscopic gaming. Now coming to the next segment of our weekly podcast, the giveaways. Please leave a comment if you have any questions regarding stereoscopic gaming or you want to leave any comment of any of the features that we have covered. Just leave a comment and you would be automatically entered for our weekly giveaway for Canon Raw. That's it for this week. Hopefully see you next time inshallah also. Take care. Allah Hafiz. Assalamu alaikum.